Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Fergie, singer. Fergie DeMille is an American singer, songwriter, and actress. She's the female vocalist for the hip hop group The Black Eyed Peas, with whom she has achieved chart success worldwide. Her debut solo album, The Duchess, was a major commercial success on the charts and spawned three Billboard Hot 100 number one singles London Bridge, Glamorous, and Big Girls Don't Cry. Ferguson was a member of the children's television series Kids Incorporated and the girl group Wild Orchid. In 2001, she left the group and in the subsequent year began to team up with the Black Eyed Peas. With the Black Eyed Peas, she enjoyed a series of hits and albums before she released her solo debut album in September 2006 to success. The Black Eyed Peas enjoyed further success with the release of their third album with Ferguson. The END, they attained their first string of Billboard Hot 100 number one songs. She began touring in 2009-2010 with her group and she launched her debut fragrance, Outspoken under Avon in May 2010 and has since released three more fragrances. She continued success with the Black Eyed Peas and they released the album The Beginning, which featured three singles, including two number one songs, as Ferguson's five solo singles, and six singles with the Black Eyed Peas have reached two million downloads in the United States. Ferguson was the artist with the most 2 million sellers by the beginning of 2011. Early Life Ferguson was born in Hacienda Heights, California. The daughter of devout Roman Catholic school teachers Teresa Ann and John Patrick Ferguson. Her ancestry includes Irish, Scottish, English, Mexican and Native American. She was raised Roman Catholic and attended Mesa Robles Middle School in Glen A. Wilson High School. She was a cheerleader, straight-A student and speaking B champion, as well as a Girl Scout. 1984-2002 Television, Acting and Wild Orchid Ferguson studied dance and began to do voiceover work. She provided the voice for Sally in two made-for-television Peanuts cartoons, It's Flash Beagle, Charlie Brown, and Snoopy's Getting Married, Charlie Brown, as well as on four episodes of The Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show. From 1984 to 1989, she starred on the TV show Kids Incorporated and was the longest-running cast member, she starred in the first six of the show's nine seasons. Ferguson was a member of the female trio Wild Orchid, which she fronted with Stephanie Riddle and fellow Kids Incorporated star Renee Sandstrom. By 1992, the girls began meeting with record labels, but they still could not get a recording contract. They eventually signed a music publishing deal with Sony Publishing before signing a record contract with RCA Records in 1994. In April 2007, she gave an interview in which she admitted that she went on a sex and drugs spree when she turned 18, saying, I have had lesbian experiences in the past. I won't say how many men I've had sex with but I am a very sexual person. Wild Orchid's first single, At Night I Pray, debuted on the Billboard charts in September 1996. In March 1997, the band released their self-titled debut album, which debuted at number one. In September 1998, they released their second album, Oxygen, which was a commercial failure, only selling 200,000 copies worldwide. From June 16 to August 28, 1999, they opened for Chers Do You Believe? tour alongside Cindy Lauper, which took them to 52 cities across the United States and Canada. They completed a third album, 
which their record label declined to release, and Ferguson left the group in September 2001. In 2006, Ferguson told Entertainment Weekly that both frustrations with the band's image and personal drug problems led her to leave Wild Orchid. 2003-2006, success with the Black Eyed Peas The Black Eyed Peas were recording their third album, Ella Funk, when Will.i.am invited Ferguson to try out for a song called, Shut Up. She got the gig and instantly bonded with the trio, going on to record five additional songs on the album. The following spring, shortly before Ella Funk came out, Interscope chairman Jimmy Iovine offered Ferguson a permanent spot to take over vocal duties and fill the void left by background singer Kim Hill's departure in 2000. In a positive review of the Black Eyed Peas' newfound style, Rolling Stone noted that since 2002, when the group hired a blonde bombshell named Stacy Fergie Ferguson, and gave up their pursuit of backpack rapper cred. They have made a kind of spiritual practice of recording futuristic songs a total aesthetic commitment that extends from their garish wardrobes to their united colors of Benetton worldview. From Ella Funk came, Where Is The Love? which became the Black Eyed Peas' first major hit, it peaked at number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 and topped the charts in several other countries. The album subsequently spawned, Shut Up, which topped the charts in many markets. The third single, from the album, Hey Mama, reached the top 10 in several European countries and later peaked at number 23 in the United States. In 2004, the next album, Monkey Business, was released on June 7, 2005 and debuted at number 2 on the U.S. Billboard 200 Albums chart, selling over 295,000 copies in its first week and was later certified triple platinum by the RIAA. Their next and last commercially released single from the album was, Pump It!, which borrows much of its sound from Miss Erlou, specifically Dick Dale's version. It peaked at number 8 in Australia, but 18 in America. The album's first single, Don't Funk, With My Heart, was a hit in the United States, reaching number 3 on the US Hot 100, and earned them another Grammy for Best Rap Performance by a duo or group. Don't Lie the second single from the album, saw success on the US Hot 100, reaching number 14. Although becoming somewhat more successful in the UK and Australia, reaching a peak of number 6 in both countries, My Humps, another song from the album, immediately achieved commercial success in the US and fairly substantial radio play despite the sexually suggestive lyrics reaching number 3 on the US Hot 100 and number 1 in Australia, making it their fourth Australian number 1 single. However, many mocked the song for its poor lyrical content. John Bush, writing for All Music, described it as one of the most embarrassing rap performances of the new millennium. In autumn 2005, the Black Eyed Peas toured with Gwen Stefani as supporting act. In December 2005, they embarked on the European tour. In March 2006, the Black Eyed Peas toured again as the featured headliner for the Honda Civic Tour. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.